are there. Let's play cards, guys. All right, let's start with the new, actually, let's start with moving the lighter. And I got a camera, but I have not set it up, so I'm still recording on my phone. Pisces. All right, let's 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 get to it. Who might you be dealing with, Pisces? Scorpio and Aquarius. And Aries wants to, like, jump off, too. All right, Pisces. Any of these relevant? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. That's a lot. Pisces. Newsworthy. It's a big deal. All right. Let's see if I could just get them out. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all of you watching and hanging out. Exhale that bullshit. And I just like held my breath too. I was turning on the lights so you can see. <sighs> Exhale that bullshit. Today, practice an ancient meditation technique of inhaling the good shit and exhale the bullshit. Think about the good shit. Think of good shit like puppies and pandas and pineapples or think of things that don't start with the letter P. Breathe. That is... What? Breathe that in like a, like sparkles. What the fuck is wrong with me? Exhale bullshit, stuff like anxiety, self-doubt, and resentment. Let it leave your body like dust being cleared out. It works. At the very least, you'll have an idea about what stuff you like and what stuff to dump onto your therapist. Dance like everyone else can go fuck themselves. So exhale that bullshit. We're not like, taking a bunch of these. No equals a full sentence. We got that one over here too. You can't have a positive as fuck life with a negative mind. We have both of these over on the deck that I wrote. So exhale the bullshit. What is this one? Drink water and mind your own fucking business. Enough said. Some of them have big ass things and drink some more water. All right. Uh, Let's see. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. Truman Capote, TC. Failure is the condiment that gives flavor its success. Exhale. Bullshit. All right. Let's just dig in here. We get a couple shuffles in here for you, Pisces. We got the Hierophant and the Nine of Swords. Doing the right thing in a relationship. Something is has taken a long time to decide. Something has been around for a long time. It's taken a long time to move away from something, move towards something, move away from a nightmare. All right, failure is the condiment that gives flavor its success. Exhale, breathe it out. The page of wands. That's a creative new little spark there. A new message, a new endeavor, something. Ace of cups, two of cups, eight of cups. That's 11 of cups. Mm. That's changing directions. So a new spark page page says Ace of Cups. Love. Two of Cups. Soulmate. Eight of Cups. Change in direction. 
in this union. One more temperance. All right, guys, let's dig in. We'll get another tarot deck. What's the page of wands over here, please? A couple shuffles. Sorry. Oop. Pisces. Page of wands. I'm holding them upside down. One of those is the Nine of Pentacles, though. And it still is there. Oh, no. What's the Page of Wands, please? The world. Ending a cycle of Seven of Swords, death. Maybe with the star in Aquarius. Bored and discontent. Tired. Just tired of it all. It's a whole new world. <sighs> Ace of Cups. What's that? The Lovers. And the Sun. And the five of swords, and I can see the seven of swords. That's 11 again. 11 in cups, whatever. Keep going. Somebody's got a choice in happiness here. And it has to do with uh, staying or going. Two of cups from a soulmate relationship. Temperance again. Temperance twice. Alchemy, balance out, something from the past, maybe at work, involving children. Eight of Cups. Oh, Jesus. Seven of Cups. The Hangman, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Somebody has seen something or is spying, gone spying, gotten some information here about somebody doing a balancing act here. Hangman, uh, time out, a change in perspective, leaving well enough alone. This guy is actually literally tied down with rats at his feet. Seven of Cups. Um, this confusion, illusion, the delusion, walking away from the confusion and illusion. Hangman, because somebody was juggling here and you saw that five of wands too many people tower another two two of wands three twos two if i took it out but i didn't all right let's see into an oracle page of wands actually what's this failure is the condiment thank you clouds Confusion, indecision, misunderstanding, beyond view, doubts, and hesitation, right? The problem and the thoughts, the squeaking is the ferrets and they're playing. What's the t world, please? Uh, the page of... Oh, my God. Page of wands, thank you. Squirrel. Giving lip service, prepared for anything. The key here, and a storm. Prepared to do this. Now these both say misunderstandings and miscommunications. So whatever this message is coming across, somebody is very confused, seven of cups on how to proceed. I don't know what to do about those little critters. They're so loud. They follow me wherever I go. And there's the world again, Saturn. The world is right here. Structure, time and matter, governing 
time and matter, a completion of cycles. The grasshopper, I think the only way to fail is to do nothing at this point. Moving on from the snowflake, because something is a, is a pattern here with someone, and the mice are right here, and the cross, and you, you got an aha moment. You've seen that. You will see that. The lovers and the uh, sun. An illumination, a self-discovery. Light codes, codes, that snowflake is a code too. And the mask, somebody needs to take their mask off and put their ego down and do, do the thing. Our brain will tell us you need to work yourself to death, but really you only need one job, not three. Your ego loves the money. That's, that's, somebody's not listening to their spirit guides. Thank you. Owl sees through the facade, explore the own unknown, know what's going on. Something is like in your face. You can see it. And maybe you just keep temperance, trying to, maybe you're trying to temper yourself because this is maddening, or you're just trying to, a situation that keeps working against you, you want to keep fixing it. The lovers might be involving a Gemini, but the lovers is already out here too. Big choice and soulmates here. What's the soul, the two of cups? Feeling complete. Awareness, equality, well being, uncommon bonds, and the sun again, a man. Divine feminine spirit. Ace cups. Meditate seems relevant. The ego challenge the status quo. Ace of cups. Past, past, present, and future, clear vision, a perspective, Ace of Cups, seeing an opportunity, somebody is seeing an opportunity, somebody wants to take advantage of an opportunity, flow, temperance means flow to knowing where you're going, relocation, uncommon bonds again. Deeply committed to some something that really you should be splitting away from. What's the Eight of Cups? Right? Eight of Cups is the broom. Remove unwanted things. Delete. Maybe unexpectedly. Maybe you will get rewarded for this. Something short-lived, a man, and the hangman, and death again. No, that's the first. No, I saw death in the beginning. Ending, 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 ending. But no, somebody doesn't want to end it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just put you away. And more alchemy. Mortar and pestle. What's the, um, the hang, thank you, Sky, the hangman, some change in perspective that is liberating, releasing, somebody is going to be quite surprised, maybe you were surprised, ripping off the band-aid, that's a new one on there, on this love, being open, recognizing that it's time, steady movement forward, what's, the two of pentacles, the ship, a vehicle, enterprise, win a trip. Movement, swift movement, the sky, the swift movement, two page of swords. Thank you. You get the princess of earth. Hard working, the hermit, taking a long time 
to make up your mind, their mind, somebody's mind. Very conscientious about uh, tact into how to deal with this. Fixed in the middle, no. Now is not the time. Purpose-driven, sec secure, gets it done, stubborn, bold, brave, reliable, conservative, count on it, no reflex. This one says balance again, the ladybug. A new beginning. And then there's Aquarius again. And now we have an official problem, the crow and... The owl are both out. High Priestess, guides say it's a warning. Something is a big warning here. Expect the unexpected. Newsworthy. I don't know. You know, we all got shit going on, so. I had this conversation the other day with somebody about not listening to their intuition. It's like, you, Something makes you feel terrible. You come home grumpy. You don't want to be near it. You don't want to participate in it. And yet you keep doing it every single day because you think you have to. But you don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is love yourself. And everything else will fall into place. Don't worry about disappointing other people because living your life in disappointment because you want to make other people happy is not what our Lord wants. Let's just get a few cards and I'm going to stop the video. We're not doing these an hour long. My arm can't take all the shuffling. Shovel, grave digger, coffin, pile on, tunneling, escape. Escape a trap. Escape being a zombie, a haunted house. You might live near a beach. Something about a car crash. Um, sting operation, a dirty trick. Locked back door. You might somebody might get locked out after they have gone out drinking. Nightclub. Thrown out, locked out, thrown out. Something about a um a tool shed. I don't know. Maybe somebody sleeps in the tool shed. Fuck do I know? Get MacGuffin, that is uh, something that is complete between interested parties. The chase, surviving a disaster, stop the press. What did I say? Something newsworthy, I'm not really sure. Breaking news, exclusive story, inside information. I think I said you got some information about some things. Maybe you have been sitting on it, starting this new life, new beginnings, like... Chaos, substance abuse, a big plan, a divorce, a new identity, a new job, espionage. Corrupt business practices, maybe a job that you really just are totally over. In the big city here. Succeed with business. You might have a job interview to change jobs too. Maybe you go work somewhere smaller. Somebody could be extremely depressed, broken hearted, seeing no way out, but there's always a way out. Always who cares about the, the debt and whatever else, like happiness is worth more than money. We do need money though. The balance of it all, it seems to be all broken hearted, a child, I don't know, a man child, because it says old age here, but also naive. Orphan, you feel bad for leaving someone fate and I just saw the prostitute you have got to be getting me I think this comes out in yours a lot an escort service something unavoidable just like the broom with the fate it's also a ripple effect karma full something has come full circle know thyself right just love thyself know thyself that's the hermit as well 
uh, undercover, an affair. Somebody is enjoying themselves. There's more drinking, more having a great time. I just saw the psychic again. Intuition was out a minute ago. A fraud, mind control, tarot readings. You are listening. Maybe you're pulling your own cards. Who knows? But there's the warning again. There's the mental anguish. There, there. Somebody really just needs to release themselves here and change the story. Be your own editor. Be the one that loves yourself. No matter what, karma, again, salvation. Save yourself. Spiritualism. There's no need to feel guilty about other people's behavior. You can't live for them. You can't make people see that there's a problem with their behavior. But if you, yourself, continue to hang out with these people, you're guilty by association. And the universe assumes that you're just like them, even though that may not be the case. The universe doesn't play in riddles. They want you to do the things that you're supposed to do. When they tell you to go and leave and do things, you're supposed to go and leave and do things. When you want to do what your ego says, then you get stuck in shitty shit. So you shouldn't feel guilty for wanting to be happy. You are the only one that has to walk in your shoes. That's you. The only one. So you should do it. Soul and soul. Astral traveling seems really relevant. Life after death, full circle. There is another life after this. You will be just fine. I know change is sometimes extremely hard, especially like, you know, 20 years in, we're going to do something completely new, but the world is so terrible right now. It's time to do things that make us happy. So next time, uh, until next time. Oh, Jesus. Why, why did we have to do that? You're getting warmer. Karma, karma, karma. You're your own worst enemy. Take a step back. True love stories never have an ending, blah, blah, blah. But I'm pretty sure this is karmic love and it should have an end. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't love, that you don't love, that... Whatever, that's probably part of the guilt and na naivety. Why you stay? I don't know. They'll have me keep talking. I'm going to go now. Until next time, bye.